What's up? This is Alaric Ong and today I want to do a quick video about the decisions that I've made in my life that has shaped my life and shaped who I am today. Alright, so um, I always tell people I, that I'd rather die than not follow my dreams. I'd rather die than not follow my dreams. For example, if I tell myself that I'm going to go to the gym, I'd rather die than not go to the gym. Because if I tell myself I'm going to go to the gym and I end up I don't go to the gym, and if let's say I tell myself I'm going to make a million dollars, how can I trust myself that I'll make a million dollars, right? So um, I remember like um, for me, I, I spent thirty to fifty thousand dollars going for seminars, business masterminds, uh, personal development seminars to learn about business, marketing, sales, entrepreneurship, etc. And for example, just going to Hanoi for four days with, to attend JT Fox's seminar cost about seven thousand five hundred USD, which I haven't included the airfare, the accommodation, add together is about ten thousand plus Sing dollars, right? Just to go for four day. Uh, trip to Hanoi but because I decided to go for a four-day trip to Hanoi um, right after I came back to Singapore I started my first business and every single businesses I've done the f past five businesses I've done I've never lost money from any of the business I've done most of my business have made a lot of money right so um, that's one decision I made okay the second decision I made was for example there was once I saw a Facebook ad by JT Fox advertising a mega speaker event and since young I knew I wanted to be a speaker and 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 when I saw the ad, it really resonated with me. Okay, but here's the thing. Um, the event was going to be held in Australia, but I'm based in Singapore. So most people think, uh, if, the, uh, if the event is held in Australia, but I'm based in Singapore, there's no way I can go, right? When I saw the ad, something in me knew that this was what I wanted, that I wanted to be a speaker, right? So the next day, I booked the air ticket to fly to Australia, okay? So, I, so what happened was, at 12 midnight, I fly to Australia, okay? Reach there at 5 a.m. Uh, the seminar starts at 8 a.m. Uh, until 6 p.m. Then at uh, 10 p.m. I fly back to Singapore. So I didn't even stay. I, I I went all the way there just for one day, just to go for that seminar for one day. All right. And because I I made that decision, because I made that decision that said I want to be a speaker, the event itself changed my life. Because right now I've been a speaker. I've been speaking for five to six days a week. Right. And um, every because of learning the skill sets from the event, every event that I do, I generate from 4k to 12k in sales. Right. So um, this was one, one of the other decisions that I did that radically changed my life, okay? Another decision I made, for example, when I was 19 years old, okay? When I wanted to join network marketing, okay? I wanted to join this mentor, right? Who started when I was 19 and by the, by the time he was 21, he made almost a million dollars, about 800k from network marketing. And I knew that if I learned from him, I'll become really, really successful. Here's the thing, okay? To join the network marketing platform cost $13,000. $13,514, okay? Now, but, but I was 19 at that time, I didn't have any money, okay? I only had $4,000 in my bank, so I didn't have enough money to join that thing. Okay, now, here's the thing. Uh, the difference between rich mentality and poor mentality is that rich people think, how can I get the money? Whereas poor people think, I don't have the money. Okay, so what's the difference between the two? It's, 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 a, it's essentially the same. Both also don't have money. But one is a statement, right, that says, I don't have money, full stop, give up, right? The other is, how can I get the money? Can I borrow the money? Can, where, where can I get the money from? So what I did was, I borrowed money from my family members, uh, and I, I joined that platform, right? And in my first month, uh, I, I made about 7K. By my fourth month, I was making about 11K in a month, right? For a 19-year-old at that time, that was pretty good, right? So um, that also changed my life because that network marketing platform allowed me to pick up skill sets such as sales, marketing, network marketing, organization building. Eventually, in 10 months, I built a team of about 140 people. So that was another incident that changed my life because I said yes. Because I said yes, right? So I want you to comment down below what are the dreams that you have that you are willing to die for? What's, what's a mission that you have to serve that if, if you just completed this mission, right, your life would be worth it already. Let me know down in the comment section below.